say? Let me see. <laughs> let me oh, see. you want to see the cut? Can you? See? Oh, hold on. If you hold on, let me take the blur off. Out. You gotta talk while you show the cup so you light up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says, if you can't love anybody else, if you can't love yourself, then how the hell somebody else is gonna um, love you? Something Hold like on. that, yeah. Yeah, something like that. If you can't like love that. yourself, then how the hell are you gonna love anybody else? Ooh, I feel RuPaul, that. RuPaul, I got it from RuPaul. Uh, the That's RuPaul right. Drag Show. Oh, I love, I love that show. Yeah. Like, it was, all right, so, I know this girl and I've always known her like to be more masculine. I've never seen her like be a femme. So like when she pulled up to give me, she had on a dress and makeup and I'm like, who is this? She was like, oh, I remember you saying, you know, that you ain't never been on a date with a femme. And she was like, I can do that for you. I could be a femme for a date for you. And I was like, oh no, you don't have to do this one. <laughs> It was so pretty. She's just and then I got nervous. And it, 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 it made me so nervous because I'm like, I know you. We're friends. Mm -hmm. Like, we've been friends for a long time. I mean, I've never seen you look like this. Oh, well, she's not really a film. She likes thin. She, she could do both. She could do both, but she usually dresses like more masculine. Mm. So I was like, I got nervous. And I don't know why. Is it me? It's pretty girls, like pretty femme girls make me nervous. And I, she was like, why are you acting like that? And I was like, you're just so pretty. And I feel weird for staring at you right now. That's everybody. Pretty girls mm -hmm. make me nervous too. Be like, I must no, be afraid because like, pretty girls make me want to just <laughs> Never mind. Like serious. Oh. Serious. <laughs> serious. Sorry. You I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Back. Oh, yeah. I felt you, that. you said you felt it. Thank you. Thank you. I felt that because I was it's just like, cool. oh my God, where is this energy coming from me? Like, I, the energy was crazy. Okay, where's hey, my Hey, hey. You look good. Girl. You look good. Hey, we a good looking group of friends. I tell you what, <laughs> this profile, stop playing. <laughs> do, do, do. How do you feel? How do you guys feel? I feel good. I'm just like sad that it's Sunday because we gotta be big girls tomorrow. Mm, who yeah. is we? All over again. You want me? <laughs> it's the who is we. Oh, wow. <laughs> who does Just we? throw it in everybody's face. Like, yeah. like seriously. Okay. I will work I tomorrow. An adult. I gotta cut grass. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I don't do those things. I hire I Mass work to do, you feel me? What? That's not just mass work. Don't do that. Because <laughs> I cut you grass too. I, I, I actually enjoy cutting the grass. I'm not even gonna lie, but I just hire the way my back my backyard is set up. Like I I hire somebody to do it. And the fact that we ain't got a lawnmower. But if I had a lawnmower, I'd be at them myself. I like cutting the grass too, though. I do. do. I, have uh, I feel like it's different. Yeah, and we got a big lawn. Majority of the fems is not gonna cut no grass. Not on the regular. No, nah, not regular. I had to really like just want to do it. Um, my dad always told me he was always on this. Ain't nobody gonna do it for you. I don't care if you're a girl or a boy. Like he taught me how to like change tires, change the oil, change, change the brakes. He was like, you gonna learn. And I'm surprised I'm not a stud. I'm just. Saying. I feel some type of way because I don't know how to do any of those. <laughs> I don't know how to do for real. Don't worry about it. You good. That's all right. You don't need to, girl. I'll do it for you. I do it for you. I do it for you too. <laughs> right. If, if I I do it for you. Like, don't get me wrong. If I ever got put in that position, YouTube University gonna have me, baby. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna figure it out. And nowadays, for real, you can just do do do. Call somebody. Mm. That part. Hire somebody. Yeah. Do it for you. Yeah. I, I think I told Ace this. I love your smile. You have a genuine smile. Mm -hmm. And if I could just keep that on you every day, bro, like I would. Because you have a beautiful smile and I love it. Yeah. You know what? I, I used to be super insecure about my smile because I have a gap. It's not a really big one. Wait it. <laughs> I have a gap. Uh, I don't see it. So like yeah. one day, like somebody pointed it out and I was like, ooh. So I was talking to my mom about it. She was like, don't you, don't you close your gap for nobody. Girl, Listen, when I have on my moo, moo I feel like I am on vacation. Okay. <laughs> everything That's is free. Lingerie. Everything is free. You don't have to wear anything underneath it. Just yeah, put it on. That part is free.
Just well, let it be. Free the top ties, free everything, honey. My top ties are always free when I'm at home. I don't wear bras at home. It should be a crime to. to wear a bra. I've been starting to become real top heavy. So like bras just hurt. <laughs> I used to like let my boobies just go free and run free, but when I started gaining weight, I was just like, "Well, them tuck them, them suckers need to get back in they they place." Not them running free, <laughs> girl. I love boobies. Let them run free. I yeah. So last um last year for Nia's birthday, we went to Las Vegas, and mm -hmm. like I saw that they had a poster up saying, um, you know, RuPaul drag show. I was like, I would love to go. I mean, I know it's your weekend. But that's just something I would love to do. And like she ended up buying the tickets. She was like, okay, we're going. I was like, <laughs> wow. And it was like, it was, it was like a gift for me, but for her birthday, and I thought that was amazing. And when I went, it was one of the best shows ever. I'm not even gonna lie. It was, it was good. It was amazing. I loved it. Um, it was my second drag show. My first one, Ace took me to. So but my my second actual drag show, I loved every bit of it. And when I got to, he has his own store in Las Vegas. And mm -hmm. when I got in the store, it took everything in me not to buy out the whole store. But yeah. I bet it did. We gotta go to one down here. Oh, you because have a lot of a lot of show? people that been on RuPaul's Drag Race. They perform a lot at this club in Orlando called Southern Nights. Mm -hmm. They're always there. And I think they have a Tampa location too, but they're always there. Like, it's nice. I've met okay. quite a few drag queens that are famous, and I was just like, "Oh my god, can I get a drag?" Yes, like when I say that that show was like amazing. They literally put their all in that show, and you can tell because it, like what people don't realize that like, and I and this is the truth: drag queens and men in our community they have it. They have a lot worse mm -hmm. than we do. Mm. Like they can't just walk. We we let's be real. We can go off as pets. We can even masculine females can be seen as tom tomboys. Oh, like she's tomboy. Mm -hmm. So it's like we get a lot of passes that they don't. They get kicked out and they have to literally create something from nothing. That's their fashion, their makeup. Like I saw one drag queen and she had like the most beautiful makeup. And I was like, what foundation is that? She was like, girl, this is coffee. And I was like, what? You said what? She was like, she's like, this is coffee. She used coffee. Oh my. For her foundation. Like coffee grains? Like, like you know, the like brown coffee? coffee. She mixed it with something and put it on her face. I started to get a little bit crazy. Mm. Some paprika is blush, blush. I'm trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? You might smell a little delicious. Hey. Your face will smell so delicious. I love paprika. <laughs> I love paprika. <laughs> I love mm. shit out of the face. Mm. Mm. Girl, you smell like nachos. Mm. <laughs> Girl, is that chicken fajita? Mm. Ooh, I would like that. Mm. Not gonna lie, mm. I would like that. <laughs> Got some coffee makeup, old girl. Come here. Mm. Let me. Mm. Your coffee. Yeah. Let me be your cream of love. I love how y'all talk so much that I don't have to say nothing sometimes. <laughs> it, it gives me a break from talking. Is that a fem thing? <laughs> um, I don't know. Is it? I, you know, I, I've I never met a fem that don't talk. Thing. I wouldn't right. say it's a fem thing because as, as, as the people you're, you surround yourself with, you feel mm -hmm. comfortable with that person, you feel comfortable just talking. It, it's, it's a you thing. <laughs> That's true. It's the people, your environment. And it does mm -hmm. matter who I'm with, too, because if I hang around other people mm -hmm. that are more quieter, I will talk more. Why? Right. Yeah. It's an energy thing for me. Mm -hmm. If I have, like, weird vibes, and it's just happened recently, like, a person in my friend group, of course, I went to see her for her birthday. We had fun. And the entire time, like, her other friend was, like, talking to her and making things up about me that I was like so completely pointless about. She was like, well, I didn't like the look that Smiley gave you. You didn't see that look. And she was like, Smiley be in her own world. She does not care about you. <laughs> she doesn't care. She's like, well, I don't like her. And I was like, okay. She internalized that. Yeah, it, it's so what? crazy. Probably won't even about you. Ugh. And I'm like, I have RBF real bad when I'm not talking to somebody. So that's probably what it was. And I tried to explain that to her. I was like, 
tell her that you know I have no beef with her like and, and like this is my friend that's been my friend since like high school she's like well Smiley's always been real re reserved around people that she don't know she doesn't talk that much and she's like your problem is you're trying to figure Smiley out and you just can't mm -hmm. that's a I mean that's a common like mistake to make that somebody making a face at you but you know what I don't like why ain't she just say what's good with you then you would have been like, oh, I'm not looking at you or whatever the case may be. Uh, Sade, and Sade, the thing is, she'll call me and Ace in the group chat. She'll call us and she'll be getting ready to tell us something. Circles. I'm like, this heifer done got me hyped up like I'm going to get the best news of my damn life. And she... Oh. Now you got to wait until she come back. You be on pins and needles. What was she about okay. to say? Charger wants to die, though. She'll run but for the when you get me back, I don't be remembering it. So it don't even matter. So that irritates me. <laughs> that films just automatically look at us like we the providers. And oh my god, I'm used to being a provider because I have kids. So it's like not a big deal. So I can do it. But how come you cannot also? I know, like I've always like made that like very aware I'm like we're gonna do this together if you pay for the meal I'll pay for dessert and leave the tip or if you're driving I'll put the gas in the car mm -hmm. don't think I'm not supposed to open your door I don't care if you mask or not yeah, you're still yeah. a, I'm gonna open your door sometimes I'm gonna do that because that part. I, like it. I feel like it's whoever get to the door first because a lot of times I'm not there first and, and now I gotta wait for you to come like that is counterproductive I'm the kind of person like if <laughs> I'll tell my woman, hey, sit, sit yourself there. I'm opening your door for you. You got it. I will buy you flowers. I will buy you teddy bears. I, I don't care. Chocolates. Yes, I'm buying you all it. J it just to make you smile. I'm the type of person I want my partner to smile. For, I'm a giver as well. So it's like I want to take care of you just as much as you take care of me. For me, like, I'll I, I be having to tip my hat off to the people that can date me and deal with me because I am a very dominant person when I work, when I do everything and daily things. But when I come home, I just want to be a baby. Mm -hmm. I'm a big baby. Mm -hmm. Big baby. And I'm just like, it was working today and it was hard. <laughs> I just need you to be like, all right, come on. You need somebody to <laughs> have your blanket and your tea ready and your little plushie because I'm sure you got one. Oh my God, I do. I just got a new one. I want to show you. I want to see it. <laughs> Here she go. Oh my God. And you got. Oh my God. It's so freaking cute. Thank me. And then why do y'all, I'm sorry, I guess this is another complaint because why do y'all mask and so women be having an issue when you just pop it? She's like, it's there. Oh, I like that. Just... <laughs> Look, that's why I'm saying I'm a different breed. I don't know. I'm a different breed. Oh, that thing. I'm not going to touch it. Right? That's what like, the ask man. for. Stop, man. Go on with that. Nah. You know I... what Juvenile said? That's what you got to ask for. Okay? <laughs> Go ahead. And... <laughs> What's going on here, Smiley? Love this squishy so much. <laughs> This is the first squishy I've ever gotten in my life, and I love it. Oh, What's his name? Squishy has something. To um, say. Did you name him? I didn't, but she already had a name. This is a Squishmallow, and this is Cavalry. Okay, his his nickname Mellow Jello. Yeah, I, I Mellow like Jello. I like Mellow Jello much better. Oh yeah, <laughs> like a little Jello mold. For real, and she likes things and she likes hobbies. Oh, it's a she likes to sing. She's a movie star. That's what I it says on her little. Communication. <laughs> Thank you. No. Girl, I don't remember. You just rude as hell. Ooh. <laughs> uh oh. Y'all be talking and then I'll be forgetting. Okay. That's the beauty. I could have like a two hour long episode. You really I could. Probably. Definitely Maybe could. we can do that when we all meet up. Oh, oh that'd be yeah. cool. And we can oh, set up the awesome. cameras and stuff. Like, Yeah, girls trip. That'd be awesome. entertaining. Girls trip. Because I need a good group of friends <laughs> to hang out with and travel with and such. I know I would be safe with you guys. And you guys are safe with me. Of course. And I have all the tips with how to get alcohol onto these cruises. I have a corker. So we can pour out the wine and we can fill it with liquor. 
Cork it. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. I'm trying to be in the cruise with you. Whenever I do take my first cruise, I cannot wait. I'm yeah, going to be ready. Same. I still haven't taken a cruise yet either. Ever. Me either. Well, we got to plan it. Yes, we do. Let's yes. do it. And I got to find someone that's good with like planning stuff like that Friday. out. Because um, I'm, I'm not the one that does the planning in the friend groups. I just give them money. Don't have what? What is this? Don't what you is this? switch up on us and go on your first cruise with Nia after we plan this. I'll slap Okay, see, I didn't no. know that was a part of the... <laughs> 